Hi everyone, and welcome to the History of Tennis Episode 3, The Grand Slams. As discussed in the previous episodes, tennis has the four major tournaments known as the Grand Slams. These are Wimbledon, the French Open, the US Open, and the Australian Open. In this episode, I will discuss the formation and the history of these four tournaments. The first Grand Slam formed was Wimbledon in 1877. Wimbledon was originally a croquet club, but after the formation of this tournament, became the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club. Wimbledon 1877 marked the first ever lawn tennis tournament won by Spencer Gore in a field of 22. By 1882, the club was almost exclusively a lawn tennis club and therefore croquet being in the name was redundant. In 1884, ladies singles and gentlemen's doubles was added to the tournament then in 1913, mixed doubles and ladies doubles was added. Interestingly, in, until 1922, the winner of the previous year's tournament only had to play the final. Also, in 1922, the All England Club changed its location to its current location in Church Road, Wimbledon. From being the world's first ever tournament, now it's the world's biggest and most important tennis tournament. The second Grand Slam created was the US Open, which was first formed in 1881. From 1881, the tournament was, was played at the Newport Casino in Newport, Rhode Island, where currently the International Tennis Hall of Fame is located. Richard Sears won the first seven consecutive US Opens. The women's tournament first started in 1887 and was played at the Philadelphia Cricket Club. In 1915, the tournament was played at the Westside Tennis Club in New York, where it was played until 1978 when it moved to the USTA National Tennis Center in Flushing Meadows, now named the Billie Jean National Tennis Center. The French Open, often referred to as Roland Garros, was first formed in 1891, only open to French tennis club members until 1924. During this time, the tournament was played in a variety of venues. In 1925, the French Open we know today was formed as it was open to all players. In 1928, the Stade de Roland Garros, the grounds which are currently used for the French Open, were purchased and the centre court was built for the purpose of defending the Davis Cup against the Americans in 1928. In 1968, the French Open was the first Grand Slam to be open, allowing amateurs and professionals to play. The Australian Open was created in 1905, then known as the Australasian Championships, and was held in Melbourne. It was first designated the title of being a major tournament in 1924 by the ILTF, similar to the other three Grand Slams. From 1905 to 1972, the tournament's location re rotated between Melbourne, Sydney, Adelaide, Brisbane and Perth, and was also held in New Zealand two times. But in 1972, it was decided to be permanently held in Melbourne at the Kuyong Tennis Club. During the 1970s and 80s, the Australian Open was seen as inferior to the other Grand Slams, with not all players making the trip to Australia. But after its move to Melbourne Park in 1988, it was easily seen as equal to the other Grand Slams, and since that move, it has been known as being the Grand Slam with the, with the best facility. Over the last 30 years, the Grand Slams have been set in the order of the Australian Open being played in late January, the French Open in late May or early June, Wimbledon in late June and early July, and the US Open in late August and early September. Thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure to please like and subscribe and comment down below. Watch the other History of Tennis videos and stay tuned for the next episode of the History of Tennis.